हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द टेस्टिंग क्लास चैनल सो द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इज ऑल अबाउट टेस्टिंग सो व्हाट इज सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग द एंड व्हाट ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ टेस्टिंग दैट वी यूज टू डू इन अवर डे टू डे लाइफ वाइल टेस्टिंग द एप्लीकेशन सो जस्ट स्टिक टू दिस वीडियो एंड यू विल होपफुली एंजॉय वॉचिंग दिस सो वॉट इज टेस्टिंग सो टेस्टिंग वेन आई से the testing in a general term and testing is a process of determining how effective something is so when i say if i i need to purchase a bottle then what i will be doing i will be verifying its quality so the process of verifying the quality is called general testing but what is software software testing so as the name suggest software so when i verify or validate the quality of that particular application then it is called software testing so what is software testing it's a process to evaluate the functionality so from where we will get the functionality it is already in a document or we will get a document from our stakeholders which is your product owner or anyone the intention is whether the application meet the specified requirement or not so how we are going to verify the quality so we should have a document that is called your business requirement document <coughs> so in that document all those things related to quality are available in detail so we used to create test cases test cases and we used to execute those test cases and verify whether application met the specific requirement or not if our test case is passing then okay if not that is failed test case once a test case is failed we used to log a defect the other quality is like to identify defect to ensure that product is defect free and has quality when i say defect free it's a very uh, important point or you can say a big point to mention like defect free so the the tester the quality of a tester is to identify the defect so this is all about software testing so why we do testing we used to do coding and we can deploy the same thing or we can make it live but why testing is required so suppose you must have a, uh, must have heard some live incident where testing was not done and it cost a lot of issue or amount to the company so that is why the if we implement the testing process it will cost effectiveness what do we mean by this so whenever you are developing anything and you just released it if you found any defect or you found any issue with respect to quality then you have to again reiterate the process so to save your money and time we need to find that so the other point is customer satisfaction so how can we get the customer satisfaction it's like if we are testing if we have implemented the testing cycle in our development process then we can just share the feedback to the customer like this is what we are building and if he is not satisfied or he want us to change some implementation of some functionality then we can do that so we can get the customer satisfaction feedback security if anything is missing then we can get the security update too so if any one want to access our application unintentionally then we can restrict that person or company and last thing is to verify or to get the product quality so this is why we do testing the next point is type of testing so we have two types of testing first one is black box testing 
and second one is white white box testing so when i say black box testing it means to say we have a box and we are going to test it so how what we are going to test it is like we are going to give some input and there is some output but let's take an example suppose we are adding 2 plus 2 the answer is 4 so how this 2 plus 2 is getting calculated is not we are intended to do in black box testing we only use the input and verify the output so that is called black box testing or functional testing <coughs> the internal working of application are not required so what all happening inside this box is not our intention to verify we are just focusing on input and output what is white box testing usually white box testing is called as structural testing and this used to done by double per and how they are going to do this they use some code coverage such as statement and branch coverage and what is that they used to verify or debug their code and find that all loops or conditions are working fine so this is what is white box testing other type of testing so when i say other type unit testing integration testing system testing and the other is user acceptance testing uat so these are called test level so when i say unit testing as the name suggests we are going to test single unit if we have an application which contains a login and after login we got the home page so when i say unit testing we will be verifying the functionality of the single unit and when i say integration the same is if we have already tested two units unit one and unit two the integration point or how the data is traveling from one point one unit to another unit we used to check integration individual units are combined and tested as a group so this is a group and we are going to test it expose fault in interaction between the integration so if we are going to integrate these two things we need to find out the or expose the fault if everything is working fine it means to say integration is fine next part is system testing so when i say system testing the complete integrated system software is tested what do you mean by this so this include your functional and non-functional testing so that is why integrated system software tested evaluate the system compilance with the specific requirement so we used to check the system compilance with the requirement specified so from where we'll get the requirement we will have a document or we find uh, we have written test cases test cases so this is all about system testing so when i say non-functional testing there are some part of non-functional testing so what is that stress testing when i say stress testing analyze the behavior of the system after failure intention is to fail the application the app application for example online shopping site may witness a spike in traffic suppose big billion day thousands of user are accessing the site so that is called stress testing and the intention is like break the system how we can break the system at what point it is failing what is happening when system got failed stress testing try to break the system by testing with overwhelming data or resources 10000 user 1 lakh user and more than 1 lakh user accessing and breaking the system so this is all about stress testing to stressing the application and failing it and identify the bottleneck and behavior of it now performance testing when i so performance testing includes your load testing identify system behavior under normal workload condition stress is extreme 
and load testing is normal behavior how the system is behaving in actual workload suppose we invited 100 user to attend an event online and all hundreds are available so how the system is behaving with the actual load this is load testing volume testing check system performance with increasing volume of data in database gradually increase the data in database and verify the application performance how it is behaving suppose 10 users data is there how system is behaving inserted 100 user how it is behaving inserted 10,000 user data and check whether application is getting the data within time or what is the actual time that is taken by the application to get this detail out of 10 users in the database out of 100 and out of 10,000 usability as the name suggests application is easy to use in terms of look wise or functionality suppose if I have an application and it is username and password and we supposed to think that login button should be there but what happened is like somebody put the login button over here then when user come he will find difficulties in finding the login button so usability is like how the user is use, using the application is facing any challenges or anything else next part is acceptance testing so in acceptance testing we should have the use case when I say use case we will have the client test cases like what the user think this need to be work as test it for acceptability that evaluate the system with business requirement and check it is acceptable for delivery we have deliver we have uh, done coding we have done testing and we thinks that it will be accepted by the user so when user come with use cases he will be executing those test cases and he will find that this application is ready to use or acceptable for delivery or not so when i say use case we should have some use case next part is alpha testing and beta testing identify or test the application before releasing to the real user or public so alpha testing is on site i mean within the organization it used to happen beta testing you must have heard some uh, version of whatsapp beta so what is that the company used to reveal the product for real user to get the on a production environment on a live environment to uncover any bug or issues before general release so the intention is to identify the or find the defect before releasing this software to and number of user that could be million or billion user this is verification and validation so what is verification very important and what is validation so when I say verification that is a part of static testing so when I say static testing and it mean to say from the starting of requirement discussion to the coding part we used to till the coding part we are discussing about product only discussion is there and documentation is there so all the stakeholder product QA developer they used to discuss about the document what we are going to do so that is called static testing as there is no product available to test so actual product is not there and are we building right product so the intention is like once the product is ready what we are doing is to achieve the product this is product so are we building the right product or not so this is the verification when i say validation once coding is done 
we have the application and once application is there we will start executing our test case that is unit test case integration test case system test case and user acceptance test case this time product is available and actual product is there now the intention is is product right or not product is there we are testing it and we are checking with the use case the product that we have written or that we have built is x per the expectation which is this so this is all about software testing and its type which includes verification and validation thank you for watching and i hope you like this word video i mean i would request you guys to just uh, subscribe this channel like and share with other so that uh, i mean it will motivate me to create such type of video and help you guys thank you for watching happy testing